Well, I've got something interesting to show you. Many of you guys, well some of you guys might have seen one of these before. And uh, I've been into firearms for a pretty long time, and which means nothing really, but I've never seen one of these before. They're very popular, very popular in Australia for some reason. Before I get into that, uh, I just want to show something to you guys that a subscriber sent me. And uh, he must have heard me uh, bitching about how I always have to use a roll of tape to work on guns. Well, Frank, uh, who was one of our law enforcement officers out there in New York, um, sent me this working block. Also sent me a NYPD Highway Patrol patch, which is an honor. I'll put it up over there as soon as I can find room. Uh, thank you, Frank, for uh, those patches are beautiful, man. He sent me a few other things, too, but I don't need to show you everything. Just nice, you know, personal things that were very nice of him to do that. <clears throat> and Frank sent me uh, this Wheeler working block. And what it's for is, it's for working on rifles, 1911s, uh, AKs. Uh, it's designed to lay the, you know, lay the barrel in there and knock out knock out roll pins and stuff like that without the gun moving around and uh, I, th I think that's one I have to learn how to use it uh, I will definitely be using this this is something I need it really bad so it's called a universal bench block that's what it's called universal meaning um, it, wor it works on uh, a multitude of firearms uh, especially 1911s there's instructions in there where you can pretty much lay any part of the 1911 in there and it holds it just right so you can remove the parts with a lot more ease than using a roll of tape. That's what it's designed for to work on firearms. Uh, I, I, this couldn't come at a better time. I really appreciate this. Uh, this is friggin' awesome. So Frank, thank you for this Wheeler working block. Beautiful, man. So I want that knowledge at awesome patches. I will make room, trust me, for these law enforcement patches. So I appreciate everything they do. And uh, like my man said at the NRA convention, police have been treated very unfairly for just a few less than 1% idiots. How they condemn a whole group of good officers. That's ridiculous. So, I mean, you know, let's not get into that right now. But, um, this is the Remington 7615. When I seen this come in, the shop, I'm like, what the frig is that thing? First, I thought it was like 20 gauge shotgun and 410 shotgun. Hold on. I forgot I left that fucking thing on. If the piece of shit airline didn't leak, the thing wouldn't come on. That's an air compressor, by the way. In case you didn't know what that was. Uh, where was I? Yeah. So, I'm looking at it, and uh, uh, Mike, the guy I work with that owns the place, he said, uh, you see this? I'm like, nah, man, that's, what is it, a shotgun? He's like, no. He goes, this is actually a pump action 5.56. Five, I'm like, you fucking kidding me or what? Seriously? And he's like, yeah. So I was like, wow. And it's a Remington 870. Uh, pretty much a Remington 870 20-gauge receiver. It's called the 7615. It's a pump action 223 or 556. Uh, and with a 16-inch barrel. That is, how cool is that? So... I was, it was spinning in my head for a couple days, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, man, that's really, the more I thought about it, the more useful I was thinking it could be, and that is awesome, um, just, just in case, you know what I mean, I mean, a pump action, 5.56, five, how reliable is that, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, it working on gas, or, uh, or any kind of piston, or any kind of gas impingement, uh, it's, it's a shotgun. It's a, it works like a shotgun. It's just going to work. 
So I was looking at it and looking at it, and the more I looked into it, the more I found out about it, it was getting better and better and better. So what you get with it is you get this little 10 round box mag, little tin box mag, which works fine. Uh, these are great for uh, sighting in your rifle if you put a scope on it. And it says right on the box mag, 223-556. slash So this, you know, this gun and this mag will take both calibers. They're really the same caliber. One has a little more pressure than the other. It's, it's very, very close. Um, so, pretty much a Remington 870. But, it works like a shotgun. See? Same thing, you have to unlock the slide with the button. And that's how it works. It has that classic, beautiful, buttery Remington action. Remington 870 action. Especially with the Lucas oil. I mean, between that action and that awesome oil, are you friggin' kidding me? This thing is just glides. Like, glides when you're pumping it. I'm um, probably going to do a bunch of stuff to it. Uh, the length of pull is a little long for me. It's got a real long stock on it. And, you know, I got real short, short arms. You know, I got these little fat Geico arms. Gecko arms. Gecko. And, uh, for this stock, I feel like I'm stretching my arms out. So what they have, if I can get a hold of them, I tried to order it, it didn't go through, so I gotta call them today. Mesa Tactical, as you know, everything they make is awesome. You know, they make very high quality uh, gun parts and they're very, very reasonable. They have an adapter. If you take this off, you put the Mesa Tactical adapter on it, then it will take an AR buffer tube with a uh, Magpul CTR, bam, and I can adjust it just the way I want it. As far as the fore end goes, uh, I'm either going to leave it the way it is or change it so I can put like an AFG on there or a vertical grip. When you're racking uh, a pump action with a vertical grip, you really get a great positive, you know, pump without short stroke, and that's why. I like the, uh, if, if you can, I like to put a vertical grip on a pump action. Um, this is nice, but uh, we're going to make it look really cool and make it function better at the same time. It has a, we'll do a, uh, a field strip video on it. There's a, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can basically field strip it to clean it, which I did today. It's a little different. It does not come apart like a, like a shotgun. It's very similar, but it's different, you'll see. Um, it's not complicated, it's just different. It's just not what we're used to, but it's neat. Uh, this piece here, believe it or not, that's a piece of plastic. See it moving around? It's a piece of polymer plastic, and what that is, is that's a dust cover. Isn't that neat? So when the action, because a shotgun bolt is smooth and it's it seals off the hole, well, you know, a 5.56 bolt has all these little windows and crevices, so if, if that wasn't there, uh, a lot of dirt can get in there. And it's real easy to take out and put in. So we're going to do a, a basic field strip video on this one day, and then someday do a detailed strip, which I'm not ready for that yet. It's a little involved. Uh, it has a magazine well, very, it's steel, it's a heavy, ca you can tell it's cast, uh, it's a heavy cast magazine well. Very, very neat. Uh, I shot this at double action, and when I tell you there's no recoil, there's no recoil. You feel like you're shooting a 22 Magnum. Another great rifle for women that don't like a lot of recoil, that want to shoot uh, 5.56, five, if you can find one of these, they're around 750 to a grand if you can find one. You might be able to find one used for six. But the great thing about it is it is a Remington. So you know it's good quality. It's not some fly-by-night company that just came out with something weird. Uh, these were designed, from the story that I heard, they were designed for law enforcement. And so the law enforcement didn't have to learn a whole different platform um, they just all they had to do is work it just like a shotgun so that's what they were designed for uh, they're really big in Australia I guess because every time I YouTube the video on it to, to check it out 
everyone has an Australian accent. So I guess it's the gun laws over there. This is legal because it's a pump. Really, really nice. It trigger, it feels just like a shotgun trigger. It's nothing, you know, nothing special. It doesn't feel like an AR trigger. Now, the only thing AR like about it is the caliber, obviously, and the magazine. So you get a 10 round mag. Okay, a little box mag, which is pretty cool. But what's really cool is, hello, 30 round P mag. What's up with that? That's a lot of pumping. 30 pumps plus one, 31 pumps. Uh, if I pumped that 31 times, I probably would friggin' pass out from cardio. But that is friggin' neat, man. So when I found out about that and everything, the more I was looking into it, I was like, this is just getting better and better and better. And then when I seen all the accessories you can get for it, because I didn't think there was any accessories for it, because I, you know, it's not popular in in my world anyway. So I was like, oh, I probably can't really do much to it. But what it is is it's a 20 gauge Remington 870 receiver. So anything, as far as putting on the back of it. Anything that'll go on a 20 gauge Remington 870 receiver will go on this 7615. So you can take this big long, look how long that is dude, are you freaking serious? Oh my god. So you can take this long thing off here and we're going to do a little project with this thing. I haven't shot it with the PMAG yet. A friend of mine uh, gave me a stubby PMAG and it ran great with the PMAG. It ran great with the box mag and I think I'm going to go up double action one night this week and run the 30 round mag. Uh, it's, it's really, really neat. Very, very nice. Like I said, man, very smooth, no recoil. Great rifle for uh, people that hate recoil, period. But like I said, good luck finding one. So I, I think this is a great find. And uh, I thought you guys would like to see it. Very nice. I'm trying to think what else I can tell you about it. Oh, it has a drilled and tapped receiver. Thank you. So I'm probably going to put a nice black rail up here. Maybe get rid of this. This these sights come right off. They just unscrew. Maybe get rid of this sight and put a nice ghost ring sight back here. Or maybe put a little uh, bursa, uh, little red dot back there. Yeah, we're going to ninja it all up. It's getting ninjed. Sorry, that's what we do. We ruin things here. We we take the originality and throw it out the window, and we ninja it up. So, but some people like it just like this. It's nice, but it could be nicer for me anyway. Very nice. So, there it is, the Remington 7615. We will, we'll do a field trip video soon. Uh, I got another flashlight I'm probably going to give away from uh, another company called... Uh, we'll do that at the end of the video, which is pretty much right now. I can't pronounce it. K-A-M-I Cami Safe. Can we save? I don't know. I might have said that wrong. Uh, my education is like zero, guys. So I say things wrong. I read bad, but I have common sense. All right. So there it is. That thing is badass. It will be even nicer when I get done with it. Okay. So thank you, Frank, for the working block. That is freaking huge. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. All right, here we go. Okay, this light I got in the mail. Uh, I was asked to show to you guys. Uh, it's a very nice light. Um, this company is called, I think, called CamiSafe. So it looks like to me. This is going to be given away. It takes the 18650 batteries. It's very, very bright. And what's unique about this light is it does, it does the, uh, the, what's the name? The Morse code. Not that anyone would know what that meant if they seen it flashing, but it's still kind of like a, hey, I'm in trouble. So uh, I like that, that it has that. It takes 18650 rechargeable batteries. So you're going to need, because the light doesn't charge, you're going to need a charging, you know, a charger for this light. You can buy them little portable ones and you just plug them in they're very cheap but that's that's what the battery looks like big 18650 okay 
Uh, I don't know if you can use one, two, threes in replace of that. I didn't. I should have researched that. I didn't. It has O-rings, which I assume it's waterproof. It's got a nice big lens. It's very bright. I think it is. Let's see. Okay, here's how you go through the uh, the stages with it. It has a rubber button in the back, and you half press it. You don't press it till it clicks. So you half press it. That's low. And then there's your strobe. Half press it. There's the Morse code. Okay. Half press it. And there's the brightest beam. I think it's at 250 lumens. I know that don't sound bright, but it's still bright. That's what it says on the thing. I thought it was brighter than that. But it's uh, constructed very heavy duty. As you can see, it's nice and heavy. It's metal. It's that aircraft aluminum. It's got a really deep dish cone in there. LED light, of course. And uh, that is the KM-A014A. It is waterproof. I just checked it out. Alright guys, so it's just something different, you know, that we don't normally show. It's nice to get different stuff on here. And uh, someone's going to win this one. The winner of this light will be Timmy, Timmy Gordon. Tim Gordon. Uh, dude, send me a um, private message. Give me your address, and I will send it out to you as soon as I can. Well, as soon as I get the address. I usually send it out within a day after I see the message, all right? So, very, very nice light. All right, guys. I uh, hope you like the light. And uh, I don't know if this company might be sending me some lights. We'll see what happens. It's the first time I'm showing one of their products. It seems like a really nice light. I was playing with it outside and stuff. And doesn't seem just as nice as anyone else's light. Their packaging is, eh, it's alright. It's, it's, it's cardboard, but it's soft. Uh, but when it came, it came in a big hard box packed with peanuts with this in it. So don't worry, they don't ship it like that. Uh, it'll be fine when you get it. Alright? Alright, man. Talk to you guys soon. We are going to pussify the Sub 2000. That'll be the next video.